If all of our listeners and viewers want to know what you think about asset bubble inflation. You were definitive on this at Morgan Stanley years ago of saying there's mandates of the Fed and one is to monitor asset bubbles. Is the Fed monitoring an asset bubble right now? Well, it's certainly monitoring it, but it's also doing a great job in creating it. Um, and so you've got uh, the combination of zero interest rates and massive liquidity injections uh, uh, spilling over into uh, financial markets. And, you know, you guys report it, you know, on your show uh, every day from, um, you know, SPACs um, to um, uh, Bitcoin uh, to uh, now we have, I guess, a lot of froth in, in housing markets. Yeah. This has all the classic manifestations of a very frothy uh, environment. And, um, you know, the Fed uh, is, is basically... Um, uh, talking out of both sides of its mouth, if it's worried about asset bubbles, yet it is responsible for creating the conditions that are creating these bubbles at the same time. Although you will, uh, some people have said that the Fed policies and some of the fiscal sp spending that we've seen will lead to a very depreciated dollar, one that is highly uh, below where it is currently, that leads to some sort of inflationary push that is really detrimental to the country. We have seen the opposite this year, as we've seen the growth that has stemmed from some of these policies. Do you think that this is short-lived and that we will continue to see a tremendous dollar weakening, or do you think that this highlights the potential success? of some of these programs? No, I, I've been one of the ones who have been outspoken about the, um, uh, the downward pressures co coming on the dollar, Lisa. Um, you know, it was a call that was um, out of consensus in the second half of last year, and it worked, and it's not working uh, so far in 2021. But I think the combination of um, plunging domestic saving uh, a massive current account deficit, uh, a Fed that yeah. would normally <clears throat> respond to those um, uh, developments by tightening policy but won't, uh, that, that's going to continue to put further sharp downward pressure on the dollar. Uh, it's not working <clears throat> now, but I suspect it will yeah. work as we move through the year.